podcast. I am Christy Ogle, and today we're talking about what kind of renovations you need to do to your home before you sell it. You're stuck in the house, you're looking around, and there's so many things you don't like about your house. If I'm ever on self-quarantine again or shelter in place orders and I'm working from home, I would really like to have a nicer home. That might be what you're thinking to yourself. <laughs> I need to sell this house and buy a new one. But you don't know where to start because you've maybe never sold a house before, you've only bought. When it's time to sell your house, many homeowners are thinking about sprucing up the place and making some re renovations that will get you the most out of your sale, the more bang for your buck. So here's some good ideas for small renovations to do around your house before you sell it to get you some more money. The kitchen and bathroom renovations can really help when you're selling your home. So if it looks like 1972 threw up all over your bathroom, it's pink tile, this might be something that you want to change a little bit. Put a little bit of money into it so that you can get more bang for your butt. Also, a fresh coat of paint doesn't hurt. Another thing is your walls and your baseboards. Over time, baseboards in your home can get really dirty. So you'll want to clean them. You might want to put a fresh coat of paint just so you can get more bang for your buck. If you have an accent wall that is a bold color, like the one behind me, that might turn some people off. You might want to paint it a neutral color, agreeable gray, tan, there's lots of different colors that you can paint it. In the kitchen, you can make some minor renovations that can really lead to improving um, the price of your home. Some updated backsplash, updating your appliances, um, the color of your kitchen, just to spruce it up a little bit to give you more bang for your buck. Um, if you've got some backsplash that's really dated, like 1932, you'll want to replace it. If you don't have a modern or newer home, um, you probably are gonna wanna spruce up the kitchen and the bathroom. Potential buyers also look at the countertops in the kitchen. The most mater popular material for countertops right now is granite. Um, if you do have dated countertops, you can update them for little to nothing. Um, it doesn't mean that you'll necessarily have to tear them out. <coughs> you may also have um, cabinets that are dated. Maybe you can paint them just to spruce them up. Make sure that you know how to paint them, though. If not, you can hire a local contractor. Granite countertops are great for home improvements. Um, you can look at them at most home improvement stores and get them fitted. It's really a lot less expensive than you think. Uh, you can also spice up your cabinets with some new hardware and that fresh coat of paint in the kitchen or in the bathroom. One thing that's really outdated is a stained tub. You'll want to replace it if it is stained and gross. Um, this will help you sell your home quickly. Plus a new vanity, um, you can refinish or stain the vanity that you already have. Also look at your yard. Pull up to your house like you're a new home buyer. You want to have curb appeal that makes a really good first impression. Not one where they drive up and drive away. Um, a renovation on the exterior of your home doesn't have to cost very much. You can place some new mulch around the trees. You can plant a few flowers, um, something colorful that catches people's attention. These were just a few tips on renovations to do for your home before you put it on the market because you're bored and you're looking at the house and thinking, I need a newer one.